Hey, hey. How are you? Pretty good. Awesome. Yep. <laughs> Getting my camera angled right. Happy Thursday, Rob. Right. Our favorite day of the week. <laughs> I actually do really like Thursdays. It's so close to the weekend, too. Right. Yeah. Only have to make it past one more weekend. Yo, yo, D-Man. What's up, brother? <laughs> yo, yo. Cool sunglasses say, emoji. Did you say you only had to get past one more weekend? Is that what you said? What? what? Oh, I mean was one more day and then it'll be the weekend. Oh, okay. I get you. I'm sorry. Because it's Fridays, you know. Even though I don't really, I don't work, but you know, it's nice. We can <laughs> I, mean, I was like, well, I mean, what's different for a Saturday for you than a Wednesday <laughs> or Thursday, except your kids are not in school. <laughs> kids are in school. Husband can help, you know, all that. All that loveliness. All right. Getting my setup ready here. Did I rush you? No. Yes. Maybe. No. I'm just always like a little bit behind. It's, that's also because I don't work. And so I'm like, oh, I can start getting myself ready at 430. I can totally get ready. I mean, I've been home for an hour, but I'm just trying to like decompress and just relax for a minute. And then I get tired and. I I'm lame it. like that. That's not lame. <laughs> That's not lame at all. All right, if you say so. I say so. All right. So I'm not going to tell you what my reference is. I'm going to draw and tell you, maybe identify what it is, is my idea, just because. Okay. And at a certain point, you'll be able to be like, oh, right, it's this. But oh. I'm just kind of curious. You'll kind of be able to identify it at a certain point. Hey, Kate. Well, I am actually just going <laughs> to. I'm doing my version of Sally from the Nightmare Before Christmas. You know, it's funny. I actually thought about doing uh, Jack Skellington. But Did I was going to do like. I for serious seriously, I was like, maybe I should do that. But I was thinking of having it be like draw like a real skeleton in a tattered ass suit, not not like the cartoony version. Yeah, that's what I'm. I've got a, a actual reference here of a that I'm using that's not like a Sally. It's a redheaded gal. Right. Super <laughs> sexy. Hey, Kate. And I have been using these blue pencils. You are or are not? You are? I am. I have been using them. So do you do you like them yet? Did I hype them up too much? Or are they no, kind of like, like eh, whatever? They're great for inking over, I will say. I don't... I haven't tried them with using watercolor, which I might with this one if I like how this drawing turns out. Right. Uh, I did a Raggedy Ann and an Andy cartoon. That I, oh, that's cool. <laughs> um, but I figure if I want to see how they work with the watercolor too, like how that. I mean, because you said Bobby used them with watercolor, right? Well, I mean, at the comic convention, she use some water on them and then I did it on that one live stream where I just started just using water and a brush on it just to see how it worked and it mm -hmm. worked a lot better than I expected it to so they're not watercolor pencils but the the pencil will like liquefy and smudge pretty efficiently yeah no I'm pretty I'm gonna see how it yeah. obviously how it goes but yeah. let's see how it works with the other colors if I try to 
color to my art if it how it works. Mr. D Man, the negotiator is that is that a movie? Is that the movie? I, I seem like re seem to remember it being a, f a film. Is that correct? I'm not sure. I might know it if I saw like a right preview for it or something. <laughs> <clears throat> mm, I'm still watching yours, trying to see if I'm going to be able to no. do that out of here. It's probably too early to accurately guess. Mm. There's a couple specific details that I'm going to leave out la until last because that would completely give it away, but... Uh... It's not the crowd. Well, like a, I'm not going to tell you what it is. Oh, you're not, even if I guess it? <laughs> Let's give it a minute to get going. Even if I guess it, you won't uh, tell me? I don't know. We'll see. Well, let's, let's, get it. let's let it go a little bit longer here. Okay. Yeah, you're just guessing. Like, there's no way to know what it is at this point. I don't know. I You've think. got some, like makeup clearly going on here it's um, shadow oh is it gonna be shadow Sh okay well okay maybe i should wait then <laughs> meanwhile i'm not doing anything to mine because i'm trying to guess what yours is You're like, here's this. Oh. And yeah, we want to make sure we get our artwork done on time because one of us is on a time frame because football season. <sighs> okay. Last Shout time out I, didn't, I didn't go, I didn't leave on Thursday early because it was like, whatever. It's, I don't really care about that team. But tonight is my team playing, to be fair. Well, wasn't it your team playing last time too? or Not last Thursday. Was you're just watching football in general, not not your team specifically. Oh, um, yeah, no, I other... watch all the games. So, wow! Cheers, Chris. <laughs> yeah, I just watch them all. So, I mean, hey, Chris and Matt, good to see you on there. <clears throat> Mm hmm. I got a, some type of weaponry happening over here. <laughs> I was going to do this thing that I chose here, or I was going to try, I wanted to draw like the Gary Oldman version of Dracula. I'd actually had pulled up several images of that. And I was like, Oh, I want to do this. But then I, I don't know. I decided to go for something else, but I may do that again. You have done that before, right? <clears throat> Haven't you done, um, have you done that? I'm trying to think. I, not that I can, like, I remember doing one years ago like long before i even met you but i don't think i've drawn i swore that you did one maybe it wasn't one that you did recently maybe you just showed it to me then maybe i can't, I can't remember i maybe daniel good one what is up man how's it going <laughs> Is 
Jessica, how the hell did you get into football anyway? Like, what what got you stuck on football? Oh, my dad's a big football fan. I grew up watching it. Oh. Yeah. If you recall, when we worked together, I actually did not root for the team I root for now. Well, I did, actually. I did, because I lived with the with my family, and they were all from Missouri. So that's kind of how I got into it, into the Chiefs. But before, which they were terrible back then. <laughs> they're, only, they're only recently been good, so it's been kind of fun to watch because they're actually doing decent but um growing up I was a Packers fan and uh because my dad's a big Green Bay fan I mean we had Green Bay stuff everywhere and he is crazy to watch football with (laughs) (laughs) so yeah funny because i've got another friend i mean not 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 a friend like the way that you and i know each other we're kind of a casual friend but um she's into football in a big way and she's all about the the dolphins oh yeah 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 like hardcore into it always kind of like you're always posting about my team you know blah 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 this and she's always posting about (laughs) the dolphins i'm like man everyone's into these football games and i don't give two shits (laughs) It's a fun thing to watch. I, I don't know, like, especially when I feel like it's that time of the year where there's, I don't know, not as much to do. <laughs> I get it. I do like the the draft picks and all that stuff. You know, it can be fun, but to be fair, like, it really is nostalgic a lot of times for me. Yeah, just because of how you grew up. Yeah. Yeah. I used to be big time into basketball, uh, uh, but then I lost interest in it. Really, like in a, like NBA or yeah, college. Really, no. NBA. I, I was all about like when the Jazz were um, at their their prime. And when they could have almost won a, uh, they would have won the championship if they didn't have to play against, you know, the greatest basketball player in the history of ever. So, <laughs> you know, lose against Jordan. So and that's fair. But then I just kind of. You talking about that night? What was it? At 90? Was it 98? Was that 98 or Something 90? Like I remember that game. I was a little kid. <laughs> I remember yeah. watching it. Yep. Basketball's great. I played basketball for a little bit. Awesome watching games with other people. It is true. I will say, I feel like it's the most fun when you watch with people and people who get really into it. Which I told that can be me sometimes. So, <laughs> and I, I get that. I like. I could watch. I could watch football. Like, if if we were hanging out now, you were watching football and I was hanging out with your family. I would have a good time. I could get it, but. I don't like yeah. it enough to give a shit. You know what I mean? Right. I would never go to a hockey game, but I've been to a hockey game. And that's it's fun when it's live. That's actually a whole other fun thing. I've been to a Grizzlies game out here. Yeah, that's kind of what I mean. Yeah. It's, live. it's fun when the players get out on the ice and start beating the shit out of each other. And they just kind of let them. Mm-hmm. You know? They just other for a good long stretch and eventually they like neander over there and try to break it up <laughs> like maybe we should stop trying to knock each other's teats out guys come on i had a lot of fun when i went to that hockey game we went to that was fun. but i just don't follow them so i wouldn't know like the bolts i don't know i'll say go bolts but i have no clue who that is Tom McFarlane's a big sports fan, especially for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Yeah, oh, that's... McFarlane. <laughs> that's funny. I didn't know that. Do you know who Mc... Todd McFarlane is? You know Spawn. I, I assume you you know the comic yeah. character Spawn. I, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna say I know of him. I you know I'm not like a probably comic nerd. 
probably heard mostly from you, but I recognized Jim. Instead of. Sure. Yeah. Yep, yep. I actually really do like these blue pencils. They flow really nicely, right? I'm I'm kind of like happy that you decided to pick up some and give it a shot. Like, yeah, they like really do. They you actually... can go really light, darken it up. I was just gonna say, I feel like I can, I can see everything really well when I put everything on paper. Like. I just finished painting two skateboard decks. I'm in the middle of... Oh, that is sweet. I have seen some people do some super crazy stuff with those. Necronomicon-inspired drawing painting. And you're about to start a 39 by 28 painting. That's something like how you do, Jazz, with big paintings, big canvases. Mm -hmm. that's, that's a fun thing. Sally got cleavage, Mr. Man says. She does when I draw her. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> she certainly does. Like, if we're going to do it, we're going to do it interesting. Exactly. I was like, you know what? We're going we're gonna to give her some. Spice yes. it up. Um. Okay. Hmm. I don't know yet. I feel like I can't even guess, though. Yeah. Because well. you'll, you'll get mad at me. Wow! <laughs> I'm not going to get mad. <laughs> No, you can't. Damn. It's kind of how it feels, you know? Wow. You make me sound like I'm such a jerk. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure. Sorry, I'm shaking my camera again because I'm erasing something so it can't stay still. Of course. For the life of it. You know, I just realized Sally doesn't have eyebrows in the actual. I don't know why I'm just now realizing that, but I am. I've never, I've never paid that close attention. Yeah. Well, I, I, apparently, I have not either. Till yeah. this moment. Um, you know, that nightmare before Christmas has got to be the smartest marketing. Um, concept in the history of ever because it's good for Halloween and it's good for Christmas and it's mm -hmm. like but also adults love it so you can just like keep replaying it and remaking merchandise for it year after year forever and it just keeps rolling in cash and I'm like somebody whether they intended that or not it's like the most brilliant marketing thing ever it's like it's got to be just like a giant well you know disney bag. totally rejected it at first really when tim burton came to them with it they totally did they thought it was a dumb idea <laughs> guess they learned their lesson and then down the road somebody was like hey remember he came and he had this idea I believe it was they either called him back to because he was an artist on their staff from what I remember but uh, yeah I don't know it's just crazy to me that they almost didn't do it like for uh, several years and right. I don't know if it was the full because it was the he want I don't know if he wanted like presented it as claymation at first. I believe he did. <laughs> but you're it's true. I mean, I have a Christmas tree right now that's up that has just nothing but it's a black Christmas tree with purple and white lights and purple stuff on it. And it's 
all the ornaments are Nightmare Before Christmas. Do you at least change it to a regular Christmas one when the season changes, or you just keep up the death tree? Uh, no, it'll stay night room for Christmas, but I have a jack head that will, I'll put a Santa hat on. <laughs> so, nice. So, you know, gets to stay up all year round. I love night room for Christmas, like, like so many other people do. Right. In the music, I think I, it's really good. Yeah. I, I would, I, I, there was a long stretch for years when I, whenever I would sit down to draw, that is what I would play the Nightmare Before Christmas soundtrack. And I would just listen to it over and over and over and I could sing along with every song. And it was super fun to draw to. Yeah. I mean, <clears throat> it really is. The music is just very well done. And I feel like it is kind of, I could see where it would bolster that creativity. Right. Who are you drawing? Well, let me do this. <laughs> I am awesome. You're not. You are. Says <laughs> Cool to be able to chat with someone at the same time while creating art. I've never done that before in my fortress of solitude, but I don't know how you can make art without music in the background. I Fair. always want to have playing. I, I agree, but you know, um, when we chat, I've decided to kind of stop playing music when I draw. Uh, when would we do this? Because it just it's either too low to, it just interferes and blah, blah, blah. But, um, I mean, but for real, Jessica, I mean, you, you guessed right way back when, when we first started. I fucking knew it, dude. <laughs> and like, you, you guessed five seconds in. And I'm like, God, let me draw it for a minute before you. I love that movie. I know that face, dude. I know that face. <laughs> I From a specific oh. scene and. I was like, all right. <laughs> yeah. You should have known that I would probably guess that. I've done that one. Not no, that but... one, but... <laughs> That's awesome. Looks great. I was like, dude, I know that Scott. It looks just like him. I mean, hey, you know what? That means you did a really good job rendering him really fast. Again, I know, I know it's it's hard. Uh, he's got this very specific expression in his mouth where he's almost got like a smirk and a smile, and I didn't quite nail it, but... Um, well, I, I mean, I think it's pretty good. I mean, I'm going off this. Right. Okay, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. However, that I bet little... if you ended up inking that, you might be able to capture a little bit more of that. Um, anyway, I'm getting behind on some of this stuff. Mr. D man. Yeah. I heard they fired, uh, the daredevil reboot, which I was just really hoping would be awesome. But they, apparently they fired a bunch of people off cause they're, they're redoing the daredevil show. And, mm -hmm. um, they're basically calling it like a reboot, even though it's the same actor from the Netflix one. So everyone's going to kind of expect it to be at least sort of connected. And then I guess they filmed a couple episodes and then they watched it and they're like, no, this sucks. Start over. I'm like, man, this thing's going to tank hard. And it sucks. Um, dude. I am awesome. You're not. Hey man, thanks for the shout out to our, our silly work. Um, well, not her silly work, my silly work. <laughs> Oh Chris God. M, you knew it was Brendan Lee from the the likeness. Hey, I I appreciate that, man. I mean, I I I want I, I'm trying to make it look like him, but yeah, yes, the crow. I like some other people were saying, the crow is such a great when when listed. Um, oh, you know, you think of the best comic book movies ever made that kind of are as close as they could be to the source material. I think the crow has got to be, it got to be in anybody's top five. I mean, right. you know, there's always some stuff left out, but, and even if it doesn't follow the story exactly, 
but the 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 spirit of the thing is there i think um it's so fucked up i mean the comic book as i understand it was born from the the original creator james obar i think his his he had a girlfriend or a or a wife that died somehow and i think he wrote the comic as a way to kind of like process his pain oh for real yeah, yeah. Uh, there's an inter- there's some interviews on online you could find with them talking about it. Like he was trying to process grief, and so he wrote the crow. You know, and you kind of make sense to think about, you know, souls that are supposed to be together will be together, and then of course, Brad ends up dying in the filming of it. Like, man, what a fucked up situation. It's that old Lee curse. Uh, yeah, yeah. Thoughts. But yeah, somebody said the scene from the movie in the scene where he's like, victims, aren't we all? And then stabs them. Man. Mm-hmm. Such, now I want to go watch this show. I don't know if you're I know. I was like, I, you I know what? Talking. I should watch this. <laughs> I know. Like, I haven't seen it in a couple years. Uh, last time we did this, I was talking about how I wanted to go watch Monster Squad. I was going to make my boys do that. And I totally did last Sunday. Uh huh. They kind of didn't care. There were some parts where they thought it was pretty awesome, but they were a little bit indifferent to it. Really? But, yeah. I, I think my kids liked it. I just can't remember. <laughs> I was really that's into show, watching it. <laughs> yeah, that show, the uh, the the Monster Squad, and it's they got some language in there that they would not allow on any movie today. They're, it was pretty brutal. Some. For kids, yeah inappropriate uses of slangs and slurs and stuff like that, but that was a different era. Yeah, I was going to say, when was that one made? I want to say 87, 88, I think. Yeah, I was going to say, it was just different. Like, even in the 90s, some of the stuff, I'm like, oh, wow, that would never fly today. It would just never fly. Yeah, Daniel Goodwin saying tragedy always makes good art. I mean, it's unfortunate, but like a happy, content person, generally speaking, I don't think will make something visceral and um, like emotional in a way. And I'm not saying that's 100% true all the time, but, you know, it, it, it gives you a whole other perspective to tap into unfortunately it's you know but it's it's just the reality of a tragedy can kind of focus your 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 thoughts on on the to to create something but i just really like the idea of the original crow creator he's like he had this horrible tragedy and he needs to work out the pain so he just starts writing the story about you know lost love and revenge and and uh, just making this awesome thing. But then I'm sure he must have just been just devastated to hear like you know, how Brandon Lee ends up dying while making it. I'm sure he's like, what the fuck? Like, yeah, oh, I'm sure you're right. Yeah. I'm sure. Oh, he's saying um, Monster, the Monster Squad came out in 1994. Oh no! It was way before. I think I think he's the crow. the crow. I think yeah, he's the, crow. the crow. Okay. Yeah. No, I know like, Monster Squad eighty something. <laughs> I was gonna say I was like that sounds. I think he means the crow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense mm-hmm. to me. Oh my gosh, my chair is so squeaky. I probably know everybody. Yeah, I didn't want to say it. Go ahead. <laughs> just say it. Just get it out. <laughs> yeah, just do it. Yeah, he's saying the crow. I, I, You know, if you would have asked me, I would have actually thought it was sooner than 94. But that sounds right. I'm sure that's right. I just, if you would have asked me, I would have guessed 92 or 93 or something like that. But... I was four. Oh my god, I am so old. <laughs> I, was, I feel so I old. Was Seventeen. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. Right. If it makes you feel better, I it doesn't. Oh. 
Sorry. No, just keep going. <laughs> Whatever you're going to say, I know it's not going to make you feel. I would have preferred to be living more through the decades or the times that you did growing up. <laughs> yeah. Not that I hated growing up in the 90s and the early 2000s, but... It was a good era, and you could have enjoyed it more if you were older. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. <sighs> That's my opinion. It's a fair one. Mm-hmm. I am so happy I guessed that right off. <laughs> right, I know, right? You're like, oh my god, it's a crow. I'm in my head. I'm like, shut up. <laughs> and then I was like, "Well, look at like the like the makeup on his eye and stuff." And you're like, "That's just shadow." It is shadow. The makeup is the lines. I mean, of course right. he wears the but the white you kind of face. you had some of the I don't know. I think I think mostly it was just that it was like perfectly. You could tell it was him. It was a great profile. Well, thanks. I'm kind of just trying to decide if I want to ink it. You know, because the only part I was really interested in drawing was trying to catch it, catch this face. You can tell by the sloppy ass hand and knife that I drew, but I'll have to tighten that up. Some Rob Liefeld stuff there. Oh, shots fired. <laughs> I'm just teasing you. Yeah, like, oh, Rob Liefeld would have just put the hand completely behind the head. You could have seen the sword sticking out or the knife sticking out. Yeah. Or it would have been just a lump of flesh that doesn't <laughs> resemble it. Kind of with the blade sticking out, sort of. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh wow. I'm like not wanting to draw her hands, as you can tell, because I just keep just dancing around it. You're like, nope, don't want to do those. We'll work on her legs here. Nice. <laughs> you're, gonna, you're gonna have to show me the reference you're using at some point. I, if it's up on your laptop, I get it, but maybe later. But I can show you. I've got two because I'm using a Sally one too, just so I can get the. Oh yeah. Design right, but this is kind of like the picture I used. Nice. Of like kind of the pose that I was hoping for. Yeah. You know, our, our mutual friend, Bobby, you know, long red hair. So there's mm -hmm. a picture of her she's got where she dressed up as Sally. And I was like, oh, that's a perfect, she's like perfect yeah, for that. Yeah, that's perfect for her. Yeah. I, don't know, I don't think I've seen that one. I'd have to see if I could track it down. Hey, when are you, uh, what do you do? Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, my due date is the 17th of, this, of December. Okay. But... I'm gonna try to to have her on the fifteenth. Why the fifteenth? Oh uh, well, I can. <laughs> uh, just um, get it. Yeah, just to get it done and over with. I mean, uh, I I do C sections only, so I can kind of. Oh, that's okay. yeah. Yeah. So makes sense. Okay. That's how both my boys were born. Oh, really? Okay. So, uh, Norin Rad 82 says my, my little sis B day was December 15th. Does it ever bother her or did it that it's on the 15th and it's so close to Christmas? Because I always wonder. <laughs> 
I work with a girl. Her her birthday is January first, and she's like, I hate it because everyone's celebrating New Year's Day. No one celebrates my goddamn birthday, or it's always like combined with the other thing. That's what my concern is. <laughs> I'm like, uh, I've never. All my kids' birthdays are in, um, in uh, the summer. They always have been. Like every, all of them. My eldest daughter is June. Uh, my three boys are two July birthdays in August. And so I'm like, oh, this is, this is going to yeah. suck for her. Yeah, someone's saying, can you imagine a Rob Liefeld version of the crow? He'd have that boxing training gear on his head for real, man. <laughs> right that's my concern is it's like so close to christmas it's like well you can get your gifts but they're coming on christmas i wouldn't do that but anyway so that's what i'm doing i do why'd you ask well i was just thinking because obviously there's going to be a stretch of time where you're at least a little bit of time where you won't be available to do this. So I was going to, you know, see about maybe getting Courtney to fill in. Oh yeah. 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 That'll you know be, what I mean? That would be during that time. Right. I will be probably not doing too much art in the hospital. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, but yeah, that would be awesome. I would imagine she'd probably be into that. Okay. And if you know what? Fine. I, I'll do it alone. Okay. Well, don't don't worry too much because I'll only be in the hospital for a couple days. And then I'll be recovering for you know, six weeks, but I will, I'm literally going to be staying in this room all the time. So <laughs> I was just like, I didn't, you know, you're going to have a newborn baby. You're going to recover, be recovering from surgery. I just imagine it would be harder to carve out time to come do this. And I understand I was married. I had, I, you know, we had, we had two kids. I get it. Yeah, it's true. It's true. However, I will say this. I love when everybody talks about how difficult it is to have a newborn, but uh, newborns sleep way more and are way <laughs> easier to just sit and like hold or play with than a toddler. That's true. Hands down. It is so much easier. That's true. I actually thought about doing Pennywise. I thought Pennywise would be fun too, but obviously I didn't. <clears throat> hey, Mr. J Ultra, man, thanks for joining up. Mm. There. I don't want to do these hands. I don't know why, but I'm really. Well, you didn't want to do the hands last time on that, uh, whatever the hell that guy was, but you ended up doing really good. I know. I did not want to do the hands. I didn't want to do the hands on the one before that either. I think I'm seeing a pattern here. A pattern emerging. <laughs> Excuse me. Hands are not easy. No, they are not. Oh. I always feel like you're so much faster than me, too. You're always, like, on to inking. Well, like I said, I uh, I tend to just jump into it. I've, I've been doing it long enough, for better or worse, that I kind of know what I want to do. Mm -hmm. You know, so I'm like, oh, I'm to get into the inking. I might screw it up. I don't know, but... But I also like doing these lives like we've been doing, kind of making it a thing, kind of, I think it's for both of us. It's kind of pushes <laughs> us to like draw, do it fast and 
there's people watching it. So I don't want to draw some horrible piece of crap. So I'm trying to like do good. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. Yeah, for sure. But for sure. Um, it's just kind of, I've even was toying with this idea of doing this for a certain while. I'll have a whole pile of sketches just straight from this thing. I was thinking about printing up another uh, sketchbook, like, you know, the art of Rob sketches, you know, uh-huh. and just have a book just full of these sketches that we've done on this live stream and uh, maybe even print it in color. I don't, oh, I don't know. Cool. That's That would be way cool. Was, you know, Maybe we could even make it a combined thing. We do the like the live stream drawings of Rob and Jess, and then we put both of our works in there. Hell and yeah! Print up a couple of copies and see how many people are not interested. Because I've still only ever sold one copy of that other sketchbook of mine. Sold one. <laughs> With, oh, and it's a book uh, for girls. Who who doesn't want that? A hot but... girl one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's true. That's a little bit, that's kind of crazy to me because you do have some pretty awesome, you had some great models for that too. It's true. There were a couple of, (laughs) I did have some art model references that I used and they, uh, they came out pretty damn well. In fact, I'm supposed to be getting a copy of one of them, one of those books too. Caitlin, the the cover model. I'm supposed to drive oh, it yeah, to her yeah. sometime here. <clears throat> Didn't you guys talk about doing something else too? Uh, she talked about like, hey, we should do more. I'm like, yeah, let me know. But then, you know, she vanishes because yeah. of the life. Yeah, that happens. Daniel Goodwin says, I can never draw in front of people. You guys are doing great. Oh, thanks. Hands are hard. I think we've talked about this. If I think about it too much, like if I was in a room and people were watching over my shoulder, I'd just fall apart. But it's a little bit easier, you know, doing it this way. Yeah, I I, I agree. I think, uh, and I don't know, everybody's usually pretty nice. No one's. I've never had, I personally, when doing this, you guys have never, like, torn any of uh, the art apart that I have heard. <laughs> Maybe after the live goes off, they're like, holy shit, that girl stuff sucked. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe it did. At least it didn't stay to my face, though. Right. I feel like, you know, you kind of open yourself up for that, though, a little bit whenever you do this stuff, so. Oh, yeah. Anytime you're online. Team Seriously, is- though, that live. That last one, I that's one of the best things I think I've ever seen you draw. And I'm not bullshitting you. I'm really? dead serious. Well, thanks. You really nailed it. I I actually ended up inking it uh, more than I had on the... Because I really didn't finish it. And... Uh, yeah. I thought you posted it. It looked good. Yeah, yeah, I did. I, I actually ended up having one of my acrylic uh, pens, though, uh, that I was using (laughs) explode all over it, and I had to fix it. And it didn't really get completely fixed, but, you know, that's okay. I saw you you said that, but I didn't see anything that looked like it was something was wrong. Mm, And I must have done a pretty good job hiding it. I could see Uh, it. Put a pumpkin there instead. Oh, instead of doing the hands, put a pumpkin there in between her legs. Hey, that's a a terrible idea. Well, but she is with the old pumpkin king. That's right. So I mean, that's her legs there. There you go. Yeah, the old pumpkin. I might do that. That's not a terrible idea. You're like, I could draw a skull. Fuck these hands. I'm the worst. Let me see if I can throw up. Let me see if I can throw a pumpkin. See how this looks. This is going to be like, oh, what a tear. What? A, clearly, you're hiding your hands. Whatever. I'll put some fingers around the pumpkin. I can do that. It's just the way these hands are shaped. I'm like, oh. But then you'd have to reposition the whole arm. 
Mm, I actually don't think so. Right. What do I know? Like, what do I know? I've just been drawn, you know, <laughs> longer than you have, <laughs> Jessica. Longer than you've been alive because you're so damn young compared to me. <laughs> True. That's I suppose. True. I suppose. You're young at heart, though. Sorry for the shaking. I mean, my freaking birthday's coming up in about two months. Hell yes. And I tried to have a get together with all my best friends in the world, and two of you couldn't show up. And I'm like, next year. But then you decided to go get knocked up. Okay. <laughs> that's what right, I was going to say. Up. See, hands could cut the pumpkin. That's what I was saying. You don't have to, don't think you'd have to move the arms for that. Where I was like, this is going to look like shit <laughs> in your head. That's what you're saying. <laughs> Like I could read, Rob. Oh. Not everybody can draw the crow, and it literally be recognizable five seconds in. Well, you know it's true. I guess, if you say so. I uh, hope so. I mean, I guessed it five seconds in. <laughs> and then everybody else did too. They were like, oh yeah, we yeah. knew that was what it was. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't a big surprise, Rob. <laughs> Not that exciting. So there you go. Yeah, you think you'd be interested in uh, doing like a like a art book thing? Yeah, I totally. I'll go in on getting it printed and stuff too. Just a little like, uh, just, just it'd just be like a comic book, but just you know, printed just like that. We could decide black and white or color. It has to depend on pricing, but uh, and just throw in the best versions of all these drawings that we've done. Yeah, <clears throat> that might be a thing. Oh, that would be sick, I think. Hmm. Myself. How does this look? Has it been raining out where you guys live, Jess? Uh, yeah, it has, actually. Like, nonstop the last couple of days. I don't know how I didn't even notice it. I went out to, to see if my cat was still out there. And then I just had, like, tons of rain out there. And I thought, what? And uh, my son's like, yeah, it's been, like, wet, like, this for days. Like, Mom, you need to get out of the house more. <laughs> I was like... Hopefully you guys are taking jackets to school then. Sweet. Uh, Norrin Rad says he would buy it. All right. Hey, you know, we'd at least have a little bit of a built-in audience a little bit. You know, I could put it up on the channel like, hey, we printed this book. So it's, you know, black and white or full color of the drawings that we've been doing for anyone who's interested. Like, you know. If anyone wants it, maybe maybe we'd move a couple. That'd be sweet. I mean, it's and because... honestly, it's not about it's not about making money because you don't really, you know, you gotta the money you invest in it, but you want to make it affordable. But it's just kind of like I think it's a fun artifact to have, you know. And I like art books and sketchbooks and stuff like that, so maybe it'll work. It'd be kind of fun, I think, just for me to have, just to have. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I want one. Yeah. Anytime I print up anything, I always keep, like, this one copy is just, this is just mine. Yeah. I've never had anything like that where I've had, like, oh, this is a collection of my art. Yeah. 
I could give it a, I would give away <laughs> Christmas presents. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, my family's like, okay. <laughs> what, you didn't want it? She likes to give it back. Yeah, you don't like my art? All right, fine. I actually really like this pumpkin idea. Really appreciate <laughs> this idea. I really do. Unearthly Comics, thank you. This was a great idea. <laughs> She just this made her was... day. She's like, this solved so many problems. I don't yeah. have to draw a set of hands, right? <laughs> I hate drawing hands. And this, what a perfect idea. You're going to make the jack-o'-lantern's mouth shaped like a Batman symbol? Mm, probably not. You no, know, that's lame, Rob. That's a bad idea. You should come up with better ideas. Like, the okay, I'm the only staff. taking ideas from the people. I'm not taking them right. I want good ideas. So, chat, light it up because it ain't Rob. You know what? <laughs> I don't know what I did to deserve the animosity, but. And to be fair, I probably am just not going to draw the hand on this one. It just might end up just being the face. <laughs> I love it. I might just, you know what? Fuck the hand. <laughs> I'm so glad that I'm not alone in this. Like, I just have no. But you know what? I did do that hand. You're right on that last one. And I actually, I end up being like, oh, you know, it looked turned out pretty good. Yeah, you were saying you were not excited for it. You didn't think it was going to look good, but you ended up nailing it really good. So it worked. So That's there you true. go. That's true. What is all this dust? I have dust at the top. I'm so short that I never use this top of this table. And there's <laughs> dust. And now I'm like running my picture through it. I know how tall you are. Four no. foot eleven three quarters. That's actually funny that you remember that. I am exactly right, right? Yeah. <laughs> just a hair under five foot, so you just tell people five. Just yeah. give yourself a quarter. <laughs> okay, now you're telling all my secrets. <sighs> Not all of them, just the funny ones. Um, just kidding. I myself am 6'3", so I'm like a Sasquatch-ish. Are you really 6'3"? I don't think I... I guess that makes yeah. sense. Yeah. You remember? I know it's been a long time since we've seen each other, but I am tall, you remember. I've seen you fairly recently, I mean. You saw me for 15 minutes about a year ago. and that Before that, it was years and years ago. Oh. You're like, all right, Rob, you seem very passionate about this subject. I'll let it go. Holy shit. I forget I said anything. Right? My. When you buy to drop off a birthday present. Yeah. See, I was giving you a birthday present, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, be grateful, asshole. Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> well, since you couldn't bring yourself to my party. Mm hmm. I can't even remember why. Um, I think somebody, your husband or your kid was sick. Oh, you know what? I actually do know what was going on. That's during all that stuff going on with uh, my husband when he was in the hospital and stuff. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. And then Bob down the stairs and snapped her ankle so she couldn't show up. Yeah. She did it on purpose. <laughs> She's like, oh my god, uh, I do not want to go get out of this. Snap my own fucking leg. Yeah. It's pretty it's brutal. Better to go. Yeah, 4'11 is pretty, pretty small. And that's what I've heard. I always thought it was dwarfs. I thought it was 4'8, but maybe 4'6. I was told when I got my license 
that I needed to have special extenders on my pedals because not only was I under that five foot mark, but because I was what five four eleven, they said that it's because my from my inseam was so much shorter, so I had long torso, short legs, and so they said I needed extenders to drive a car. That's ridiculous. Yeah, I never did it, but that's what they said. <laughs> <laughs> How old were you when you reached the height that you stopped growing? I was 13. Oh, so 13 and you were done, huh? I never grew after that. My sister, my little sister passed me up. She's not my little sister anymore. Right. My ex-wife, she was uh, six foot by the time she was like 13, 14. <gasps> and... Uh, Everyone always mistook her for being way older than she was. And right. She had huge old boobs. So she looked like she was 24, <laughs> but she's hyper, like, kind of conservative and shy. So it was like the worst possible physical manifestation oh. she could ever imagine because they're getting all this male attention staring at her because she was pretty damn hot. But yeah, the last thing on the planet she wanted was like male attention at 14 years old. Right. I was going to say, probably that age, especially. Yeah. It really meant it. Like her mom kept having to tell dudes that were kind of trying to talk to her. They're like, she's 14. Wow. Yeah. She's hella tall. I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. She's got the bitchy attitude to go with it. Dude, you could be a cyborg. Get on it. <laughs> Wait, who's the cyborg? Uh, Daniel says, dude, you could be a cyborg. Get on <laughs> Can you hear those jets flying over my roof in the background? Could you just hear that big, loud rumble? Sure could. And that's part of the joys of living like five mi five seconds away from an air base. Oh, oh, get this. We live close enough to one of the military grounds where they test explosion like explosives and our nice. whole neighborhood shakes and then everybody gets on the ring doorbell um uh, oh i see what he's saying <laughs> leg extensions to it wasn't leg extensions <laughs> oh that's hilarious now i get it <laughs> oh my gosh oh, oh my goodness my God. Yes, cyborg <laughs> Be like a little Terminator, a little short, little cute Terminator. Oh gosh! Not if the I had reason that it works is because no one expects. They're like, oh, she's adorable, and then you blow people away, and like, oh, she was actually here to kill us. I'll be back. You know, uh, <laughs> I got no, it's like I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> but what if I didn't talk like that, and that'd be more unexpected? If I actually sound like Arnold, you know? Oh, I kind of like your kind of. Almost gravelly kind of voice that you have right now. So I have a gravelly voice. <laughs> gravelly, but it's you. You got a uh, somebody. Uh, what? <laughs> but you've got a unique voice. Like there's this girl I work with, and she's the nicest, sweetest person on the planet. But she's got like such a stereotypical like ditzy girl voice. She'll come up and she'll be looking for looking for something. She's like, "Hi, Rob. Will you help me find a thing?" And I'm like. <laughs> And some people just assume she's kind of stupid, like a ditzy dum dum, and she's not. Oh. But you have this like more, I don't know. You manly got a, you got a good voice. voice. Do you have a manly voice? Oh no. Hello. Right. Do I sound like Batman sometimes? <laughs> Where's the detonator? You never <laughs> give it to a ordinary citizen. <laughs> oh my gosh. Just kidding. I get what you're saying, though. 
I understand where you're coming from. I employed the ink wash again on the drawing. That's pretty cool. Yeah, Phoebe from Friends. <laughs> I know what he's talking about. Huh? I know what he's talking about. <laughs> Phoebe from Friends. Oh. Classic. Although, uh, notice the time. It's almost kickoff time for somebody, isn't it? Oh, it is indeed. I'll have to ink this during the game, I guess. <laughs> How are you going to be out there watching a game and doing artwork? Well, I hope it's not much of a game. I mean, they're playing the Broncos. I hope there's no Bronco fans on here, but I hope that, the, you know, they win pretty easy. So. <laughs> <laughs> But I actually have a little tiny drafting table, so I'll just bring all my stuff downstairs and I just sit and ink. Or it's like everyone get mommy's got a football game to watch and a drawing to finish. It's true. Shut up! I'm trying to focus on my art and on the game. Just kidding. <laughs> well, you know what's funny? Oh man, I need to screenshot this. Oh, I got to do this right. Oh, can you straighten your drawing up just a little bit? Like, on my <laughs> thing, the head of my guy is the head of your figure. Do you see it at all? I don't. No, mine's opposite. Oh, She's like all right, well, I just, I just took a screenshot. It's not quite. Let me, all right, let me readjust here. Hold on a second. <laughs> In mine, oh. she's like sitting on his head. Yeah, that's right. Oh, I just screenshot it. It's kind of like a funny thing. I'll send that to you later. I'll post it too. <laughs> okay. Bronco fans are wearing bags over their heads, he says. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. And, you know, where we live, there's a lot of them. So. <laughs> are there really? I mean, Denver. Salt Lake doesn't have a team. True. Salt Lake don't have shit, so. <laughs> it's got Mormons. Yeah. So, like I just said, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> wow. I would never say that. I think we but know. But you that. did. I did. I did. And it was all in jest. You know. All in jest. It does have the jazz, yes. I just mean for football. It doesn't have, well, unless you're a college football fan. And then it definitely does have, like, youths and BYU and all that jazz. Right. Whole thing. And I can't be bothered to care about any of it. I know. Really true to, you know, your nerdiness. <laughs> right. Nothing wrong with that. Well, I think I'm done with mine. Yeah. Like I said, I'm not going to do that hand. <laughs> I feel so happy that you're not going to do it. <laughs> Could not be happier. Well, the pumpkin concept is really working, you know. I, I, yeah, I know. See, see how I put her hands on there? That looks pretty anatomical, I think. Not that, to be fair, not that Sally really is because she's all, all kinds of all not, you know. I think she only has four fingers, doesn't she? Oh no, she does. Really? Have, she does have five, but her feet are really small for her body, and she's always like, you know, losing half her limbs and stuff. So you know, off off buildings and shit. Mm hmm. It's part of the charm of her. I'm gonna. One more stitch on her boob because you can't 
C. And so I'm just adding my own <laughs> stitching over here. Voila. Tim Burton definitely missed anatomy class. <laughs> he really did. <laughs> but in the but best. You know what that makes it interesting. And that's what I love about it. Honestly, his anatomy being a problem versus Liefeld's anatomy being a problem, I'll take Tim Burton any day. I love how you've come around to the Liefeld thing, and you probably never even heard of him before uh, I started doing my stuff, right? Honestly, I don't know that I would have I would have known his stuff had I him as a artist. I definitely had books of his though at some point. I'm pretty sure. And but I wouldn't have known him as like, oh, this is the, you know, this famous artist. Right. So, yes, I definitely but to be fair, like you've definitely proven your point. Like he draws some <laughs> weird shit. Like Well, you know what's great is because um, he did this terrible Captain America series that I've been doing slowly on my channel. And the, the latest two issues, I, I reviewed them with my kids. I had my boys, my youngest boy look at one with me and then my older boy look at the other just to kind of get their opinion on. They don't read comics, so they don't know anything. But right. I was like, what do you think of artwork? And they kind of didn't understand that it's bad but they did make some funny observations like this bad guy was pointing a gun at captain america and my my eight-year-old son is like i'm like what is he pointing at captain america he's like it looks like a phone i'm like oh my god that's hilarious <laughs> it does look like a phone so i've got to like i've got to like actually edit them together but i'm not gonna just throw them up just raw i've got to do some editing because they're they're a little spastic <laughs> that's how my kids are because they're so excited to be on daddy's youtube channel and on youtube because all they do all day is watch youtube so they're trying to be like funny and clever and i'm like calm down just calm down you're not you're not a tv star now or are they or maybe they are if they if they started raking in money somehow by being on the internet i would totally take advantage of that like a horrible parent wow really showing your true colors here just for long enough just to get a good chunk of money, then I'd shut it all down. No, you wouldn't. Yeah, I say that. <laughs> right? I know. I say that now. Mm -hmm. No one's buying it. I know. Well, I mean, I don't want to keep you. I know you got an important game. I know. need to get down there and see how it goes. Because, you know, they can't do it without me. <laughs> Probably. Uh, but yes, uh, I maybe I'll ink this and then throw this up on my on the old Instagram. But yours turned out really great. Yours definitely looks like way more sophisticated and finished than mine here. Not done. I just, I just, all I had was a profile to draw, like a side of the face. You're like doing a whole figure. With details and stitches and hands and pumpkins. Yeah, this home so. can save, save my ass here. <laughs> so. Yeah, thank you to the guy who threw that idea out there. That's a good yeah. idea. Old, uh, who was that? Unearthly somebody. I that think was... it was unearthly. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That that looked. That was great idea. Really fits the theme. <laughs> yeah. Love it. But, uh, well, this is awesome. Good work. You know what? I really, I, every year I try to do like a bunch of Halloween art. I mean, maybe I'll just do for the rest of our lives in October. I'll just do, you know, something Halloween-y. Yeah. Maybe next time for the, you know, there's the rest of the month we'll do another Halloween thing next time. Sure. If I could figure out how to do more than two people at a time on YouTube, Courtney would probably have a lot of fun doing a Halloween theme. I know. She said she wanted to. So, I mean, we could do – and I could do more than one live during the week. I know it always yeah. ends up kind of being the Thursday one, but, I mean, I technically could do Wednesdays, technically do Sundays. You know, depending on who's playing. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just right. kidding. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, yeah. Let's not let's get to, get too far ahead of ourselves. Like there might be some game. I'm just teasing you. No, uh, no, I know no. when I texted you that I was like, he's gonna be like, wow. Really. All right. Well, yeah. Um, yeah. Just let me know if you want to try to do it on YouTube still, and or if you want to do one, try to invite Courtney or do a couple, and we can do another one this week. Even I'm down. Yeah. Okay. We'll do it. All right, everybody. Thanks for joining. This was fun as always. Thanks for making yeah. the conversation more interesting than we'd come up with on our own. It's always fun <laughs> to have you guys involved. So. Absolutely. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for all the great ideas. Right? <laughs> all right. Guys, thanks. Bye.